Bonjour, Kinemagi and Nene Ireland Dijnikas, and welcome to this production of the My Math Network. Today's lesson, the Chapter 8 Review. All right, we'll begin by looking at yesterday's homework. And that was writing fractions as decimals. One half became five tenths, so 0 0.5. 11 twenties became 55 hundredths, or 0.55. 65 hundredths, 0 0.65. Six tenths, 0 0.6. 0 0.52, or 52 hundredths, and seven tenths. This really came out to 70 over 100, but you can truncate that last zero, which means to knock it off and just have the 0.7. Generally, or you could actually simplify this down to seven tenths, that would work too. Generally, if it's over 100, you have two digits. If it's over 10, you have one. And you see that's what we did going down the rest of the assignment. So we're gonna begin by just looking at some vocabulary. And then once we get into the, pro the problems, you will need either your review pages that'll begin on 601 or something else to write with. All right, so the least common multiple is the least multiple other than zero, common to a set of multiples. Fractions that name the same number are equivalent. Word equa, sounds like equal, equivalent means equal fractions. Top number of a fraction is called the numerator. When the numerator and denominator have no common factor greater than one, the fraction is written in simplest form. The bottom number of a fraction is called the denominator. A whole number that is a factor of two or more numbers is called a common factor. And the greatest of the common factors of two or more numbers is the greatest common factor. And the least common denominator is the least common multiple of the denominators of the fractions. That's based off of the least common multiple. So let's do a few here. Uh, well, I'll do one and then you'll do one generally through this section, just to make sure that we're kind of ready for our next assessment. So I need the greatest common factor of 11 and 44. Well, I know that 11 is one times 11 44 is 1 and 44. It's 2 and 22. It's 4 and 11. And that will be all of them. What's the biggest one? See that I have an 11. So my greatest common factor is 11. All right, so you go ahead and try number 10. You may pause the video to do it and then right check the answer when you're done. Let's check our answer for 12, 21, and 30. Three is the largest number. This is three times four, three times seven, and three times 10. Six would go into 12 and 30, but it doesn't go into 21. All right, write in simplest form. So 3, 36. I immediately, I say, well, okay, what are my common factors here? 3 is 1 and 3. 36 has 3 times 12. So I'm going to divide top and bottom by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 36 divided by 3 is 12. All right, let's go ahead and try. You go ahead and do number 12, 25 thirtieths. Let me pause the video, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. The greatest common factor of 25 and 30 is five. So I'll divide top and bottom by five and I get five six. Least common multiple. So in my case, number four, my multiples of four are four, eight, 
12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 8 is 7 is 28, 4 times 8 is 32, 4 times 9 is 36. Now 9 is going to be 9 times 1, 9 times 2, 9 times 3, 9 times 4. And immediately I can see that I have a common number. I have 36. And that is the only number that is common. So my least common multiple is 36. Remember, the least common multiple has to be at least as large as your largest number. So go ahead and do 5, 7, and 10 with number 14. Hey, pause the video. On this one, is going to be 70. 7 times 10 is 70. 5 will go into it. And that's the first one that 7 and 10 will both go into is 70. Let's do a little comparison. This is where you have to use your common fractions equivalent fractions. This becomes four tenths. Four tenths is greater. You go ahead and do number 16 and 17. Let me pause the video. Welcome back. Let's see what you got. These can both go over to 20. So four twentieths and five twentieths. That's a little bit bigger. And four goes into 24. So I'm going to keep this one alone. Four times six is 24. Three times six is 18. We have an equal. So there we go. Write each one as a decimal. I'll get two and you're going to get two. Three tenths, so I'm going to put a three. There's one zero, so point three. And a lot of times I'll recommend that. This is going to be over 100, so 38 over 100. So I write my 38. 100 has two zero, so one, two, it's 0 0.38. You go ahead and do numbers 21 and 22. Let me pause the video. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. 1 over 5 is 5 over, tw sorry, 20 over 100. So that it would be 0 0.20 or 0 0.2. And this one is going to be 56 over 100. So 0.56. If you have any questions while studying for the upcoming assessment, feel free to reach out. If you need in a pinch and you don't feel like emailing the teacher, Khan Academy has a lot of great resources for this. I wish you luck on tomorrow's assessment, which will be coming live after midnight. So you should be in bed by then. And we'll look forward to seeing how well you have mastered this topic. Eva Minogizhigat, Minwa, Bamba P.